Hey guys, this is Jason with Not Bigger Mining and Metals. And today I wanted to do uh, another smelting experiment here. I've got some concentrates uh, that we just ran on the table. I've panned them down a little bit. You can see there's still a bunch of sulfides in there, but there's quite a bit of gold. Um, and so I wanted to show you guys the process from taking concentrates off the shaker table uh, and then smelting them down, roasting, smelting them, and then ending up with a gold button at the end. So um, we're gonna take these in, uh, put them in our cast iron frying pan and roast the sulfides to turn them into oxides and then we'll work on getting them smelted down into a button. So I've just taken the concentrates out of the pan, washed them into a cast iron frying pan and now we're going to put them over some heat, get them up to probably somewhere around 800 to 1000 degrees Fahrenheit and we're going to convert the metal sulfides into metal oxides and when they're metal oxides we can actually uh, have them dissolve into our slag that we're going to do when we when we smelt them. So um, I'm going to get these on the furnace and get them heating up, and I'll show you the next step. Okay, I just got them in the pan here. I got them over the, the furnace. Um, I've got a little propane injector there. There's the there's the tank. It's just a little propane burner. Got some KO wool wrapped into a little cylinder there with the top on it. And I found it's just easy to, to put your your uh, frying pan right over the exhaust of the furnace. We got some uh, steam coming off of the pan now. We're gonna let that get nice and hot and uh, I'll check in on it here in about five or ten minutes when it starts to get up to temperature and show you guys what's going on. All right we've got our sulfides. They're pretty much fully roasted at this point. They all turn black. Um, so I'm gonna get these pulled off the heat, cooled down, and uh, we'll get them weighed out and then we'll mix some flux and smelt them. All right, here's our little scale. We've got our, our oxides now, our roasted sulfides. Let's figure out how much they weigh here. So we end up with 49 grams of sulfides of, of roasted oxides. So um, I'll get a slag recipe together, let you guys know what it is, and we'll mix it all together and get it smelted. Okay, I just finished putting my uh, flux recipe together. This is 40 grams of silica sand, 40 grams of soda ash, and 150 grams of borax. And then I'm going to take my roasted sulfides, dump them in there, get that mixed up really good, and then we'll put it in a crucible. Okay, so I've pulled back the cover probably can't see anything in there, but crucible's in there, it's getting up to temperature, getting nice and hot. So here pretty soon we're gonna pour this into our cone mold, which is right here. This is just a, a steel cone that I've made. And uh, when, it's, when you pour the charge in there, the gold is the heaviest, so it goes to the bottom and all the slag floats on top, and we should get a little gold button at the bottom there. Okay, so there's our pour. Down into our cone mold. We'll let that cool off and then we'll, uh, there we go. We'll let that cool off, solidify, and then we'll knock it out of the cone mold and see what we got. Okay, it's cooled off pretty well, real glassy. Uh, you might be able to see the shatter marks in it. Whoop, there you go. From, uh, from it cooling down, as it cools down, it tends to break up like that. So I'm gonna knock it out of the cone mold, put it in this uh, steel tub here, and we'll see what we got. All right, there it is. There's our little butt. I'll uh, if I can knock some of this slag off. There we go, there's our little gold, little gold button there. That's cool. We'll put it on the scale, see how much it weighs. Okay, so there it is, 4.78 grams. That's pretty cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I just, I think it's so cool to make little gold buttons like that. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.